A NASA mission has spotted an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting a small star about 100 light-years away. The planet, named TOI 700E, is likely rocky and 95% the size of our world. The celestial body is the fourth planet to be detected orbiting the small, cool M dwarf star TOI 700. All of the exoplanets were found by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS mission. Hello and welcome to KYC News. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Another planet in the system, discovered in 2020 and named TOI 700D, is also the size of Earth. Both of these exoplanets exist in their star's habitable zone, or just the right distance from the star that liquid water might potentially exist on their surfaces. The potential for liquid water suggests that the planets themselves could be, or might once have been, habitable for life. The discovery of the fourth planet was announced Tuesday at the 241st meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Seattle, and a study about the exoplanet has been accepted for publication by the Astrophysical Journal Letters. This is one of only a few systems with multiple, small, habitable zone planets that we know of, said lead study author Emily Gilbert, a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, in a statement. That makes the TOI-700 system an exciting prospect for additional follow-up. Planet E is about 10% smaller than Planet D, so the system also shows how additional test observations help us find smaller and smaller worlds. Small, cool M dwarf stars like TOI-700 are common in the universe, and many have been found to host exoplanets in recent years, like the TRAPPIST-1 system and its seven exoplanets that the James Webb Space Telescope will observe. Closest to the star is TOI-700b, which is 90% of Earth's size and completes one rapid orbit around the star every 10 Earth days. Then there's TOI-700c, which is 2.5 times bigger than our planet and finishes one orbit around the star every 16 days. These planets are both likely tidally locked, meaning they always show the same side to the star, much like how the same side of the moon always faces Earth. The two exoplanets in the habitable zone of the star, planets D and E, have longer orbits of 37 days and 28 days, respectively, because they're a little more distant from the star. The newly announced planet E is actually located between planets C and D. The test mission, launched in 2018, monitors large portions of the night sky for 27 days at a time, staring at the brightest stars and tracking their changes in brightness. These dips in luminosity indicate orbiting planets as they pass in front of their stars, called transits. The mission began observing the southern sky in 2018, then turned to the northern sky. In 2020, the mission refocused on the southern sky again for additional observations, revealing the fourth planet in the TOI-700 system. If the star was a little closer or the planet a little bigger, we might have been able to spot TOI 700E in the first year of test data, said study co-author Ben Horde, a doctoral student at the University of Maryland, College Park, and a graduate researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, in a statement. But the signal was so faint that we needed the additional year of transit observations to identify it. While the researchers used other space and ground-based observatories to conduct follow-up observations of the intriguing planetary system, more test data is pouring in. TESS just completed its second year of northern sky observations, said Allison Youngblood, a research astrophysicist and the TESS deputy project scientist at Goddard. We're looking forward to the other exciting discoveries hidden in the mission's treasure trove of data. The newly discovered planet is likely to be rocky, according to the experts, which could also make it more likely as a candidate to host life. Liquid water could also exist on its surface at some point during its planetary lifetime because it is in the habitable zone of its star. This means the temperature could be right on the planet because it is neither too close nor too far from the star. 
The observations reveal TOI 700E is 95% the size of Earth, and it exists in a solar system alongside other potentially habitable planets that were already discovered. Orbiting a cool M dwarf star named TOI 700, located around 100 light years away, the planets TOI 700b, C, and D were previously discovered, but to spot TOI 700e, another year of observational data was needed due to its small size and distance. If the star was a little closer or the planet a little bigger, we might have been able to spot TOI 700e in the first year of test data, said Ben Horde, a doctoral candidate at the University of Maryland, College Park, and a graduate researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. But the signal was so faint that we needed the additional year of transit observations to identify it. This is one of only a few systems with multiple, small, habitable zone planets that we know of, said Emily Gilbert, a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California who led the work. That makes the TOI-700 system an exciting prospect for additional follow-up. Planet E is about 10% smaller than Planet D, so the system also shows how additional test observations help us find smaller and smaller worlds. TOI 700D also orbits in the habitable zone. The innermost planet, TOI 700B, orbits the star every 10 days, while TOI 700C does so every 16 days. These two planets are believed to be tidally locked, meaning one side is always facing their sun, like the moon does with the Earth. TOI 700D meanwhile takes 28 days to orbit its star. Tests monitor sections of the sky for around 27 days at a time, allowing the satellite to track changes in the brightness of stars. Dimming light can be caused by a planet crossing in front of it from the satellite's line of sight. Finding other systems with Earth-sized worlds in this region helps planetary scientists learn more about the history of our own solar system. Follow-up study of the TOI-700 system with space and ground-based observatories is ongoing, Gilbert said, and may yield further insights into this rare system. Thank you for watching and see you on next video. Could there be life on another planet? Scientists with NASA found another spot in the Milky Way that could harbor life. Astronomers have discovered exoplanet TOI-700e, which is an Earth-sized world that orbits in its star's habitable zone. NASA believes the planet is about 95% the size of Earth and is likely rocky. The planet was discovered using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which surveys thousands of exoplanets around nearby stars. Lying in the planet's habitable zone means the planet's temperature could allow for water to be in a liquid state. If the planet is too hot, the water would boil away. If it's too cold, it would become ice. TOI-700e is among two planets in its star system that could harbor life. Planet D is also an Earth-sized planet that orbits within the star's habitable zone. This is one of only a few systems with multiple, small, habitable zone planets that we know of, said Emily Gilbert, a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. That makes the TOI-700 system an exciting prospect for additional follow-up. TOI-700 has been under investigation for some time. It took researchers an additional year to figure out the details of TOI-700e. Test just completed its second year of northern sky observations, said Allison Youngblood, a research astrophysicist and the test deputy project scientist. We're looking forward to the other exciting discoveries hidden in the mission's treasure trove of data. NASA said TOI-700 is a cool dwarf star located about 100 light years from Earth. In total, NASA has discovered four exoplanets circling the star.